<laughs> I got one gray hair, dog. Look at that. Hello, everybody. All right, so let's get real. Let's talk about some fucking like real, like, <laughs> like, like fucking hot shit, like Donald fucking. No, fuck Donald. Uh, let's talk about Call of Duty World War Two. What really matters in the world? Yeah, this is war, baby. This is war. <laughs> we need to talk about what really matters. None of this earthquake. And we this we need fire. to talk about uh, <laughs> the right to bear arms in video games. <laughs> Can you imagine that they took away guns from the video games? I would actually play that. Yeah? <laughs> Can you imagine Call of Duty with like a water gun? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a water gun. It's like fingers and shit. Boo, 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 boo. And the guy's going, oh. like, you see the fucking, he's like, oh, 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 oh. And, and, then, it, and then argument accused, like, I got you. What are you doing? <laughs> I got you. No, like, I no, you didn't, first. no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> I was like, mom. <laughs> that, you remember that, kids in the hall that would be the perk that would be a good perk it would be yeah, like yeah. a mom perk you call mom yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be a mom perk mom <laughs> and then fuck like, and we the should write this shit down <laughs> mom perk there you go <laughs> you remember kids in the hall like it's an old school like 90s show maybe early they're 2000s they're Canadian man and he's like I crush you yeah with the head he's like <laughs> Like bring that shit to Call of Duty. Be like pew pew, and then the head crusher. Like you, when you yeah. get a kill streak, you do the. I head remember crusher. that. That shit would be amazing. <laughs> no, actually, that would be nice. Water gun, like a like a different gun. Like you know how like you can change your gun in Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You can change yeah, yeah. your gun or whatnot. Like pick up someone's gun. You pick up like a peace shooter or like a water gun or something. Yeah. Like, that. <laughs> <laughs> like Call of Duty means platoon. Yeah, there's like, and then you know how like you can put like your own paint on the gun and everything. You can have yeah, like yeah, Barney yeah, stickers. Yeah, yeah. That shit. <laughs> the Barney stickers and everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn, dog. Yo. I would, I would. Somebody make that game, please. So, somebody in so somebody in uh somebody in uh Sledgehammer. Please. Oh man, please <laughs> make, make that this happen. Game. So on that talk, Sledgehammer. So Call of Duty War War Two. Basically the whole gist of this show is right to to discuss a little bit about the upcoming uh, games. So I mean upcoming games and But this is gonna be a bit a little bit different too as well. I mean like there's a lot of people that actually does this show and then they review and all that stuff. But this is actually coming from like raw between you and me kind of thing. Okay. Do you know I what like I mean? it raw. Like you know, structure wise, yeah, yeah, there's a structure that we have to talk about, but like in terms of like the way we discuss things it's, yeah, no, it's just just flowing. No, none of this sponsor. We so, don't have any sponsors. On, uh, the next thing that we're gonna flow right into on this list is. <laughs> no, no, that that wouldn't be a flow. So I did uh, I, I did want to talk to you a little bit about that, like getting back to basics. So I know that I haven't played Call of Duty, and I was mentioning this to you, like like for real, for real. I haven't played Call of Duty since like yeah. Modern Warfare Two, like competitively. Like yeah. I. I dabbled in it a little bit here I mean, and there Modern what Warfare 2 was like the last very competitive of Call of Duty like everybody was like hardcore in it like the swearing yeah. and everything in there it's like amazing yeah yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like everything there is just amazing like as soon as the game was over and you get back to the main menu the trash talking happened oh man that's that's awesome dude because a lot of a lot of the, the things that are happening with World War 2 is it kind of Again, going back to basics, or back to, to kind of like the old school type of Call of Duty, yeah, which I think is much needed. I mean, these they, they yeah. needed a refresher like big time because this, yeah. I, I feel like they lost their identity for a moment there yeah. because they would see like uh, you know like a Halo and then they want to implement some mm -hmm. futuristic shit in there and then mm -hmm. maybe they saw uh, yeah. you know a Titan a Titanfall I, and they wanted to imp they implement were, some off the wall crap. They were they were going too much in the trend of sp space. Yes. Like way too much. They're yeah, like, yeah. oh, Halo was doing well, and there's Titanfall that's going to be made pretty soon, and this and this and that um, happening. So they're just like, you know what the future is? Space. Okay. It's like, no, man. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong, they make some killer trailers. When I saw a yeah. trailer in space, and I didn't know that it was Call of Duty, I'm like, yo, this game looks dope, and it says yeah. Call of Duty. I'm like, mm, there's something about it. Well, I'm because the thing is, with the Call of Duty name, there is a, there's something attached to it. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like, sure. you, when people think of Call of Duty, the first thing they think about is uh, World at War, 
right? Yeah. World at War, uh, the first Call of Duty, even Warner Warfare 2, right. Right? right? And then when you think, when you see space and all that, you just go, eh, why? That's like how, like, why would you have to do that? Like with yeah. like spaceships and jumping around, anti gravity and everything. It's just, yeah, 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 I didn't I even buy call the new Call of Duty. I, I'm just like screw. I tried. I, I, I got a bunch of boys of mine. We got together and uh, we, we basically all said. I think it was like six or seven of us. We yeah. all said, hey, let's get Call of Duty. Why not Advanced Warfare? And dude, I literally played it for like two matches. And I was like. Nah, I ain't having. I wasn't feeling it, die This I couldn't do it. One, I was getting fucking murdered. <laughs> so the, I was like, it's not fun. I was getting like after so much, it's so many it's time away. Uh, but I, what I do spend a lot of time with, and I and I, what I do buy Call of Duty for is the campaign. So they they're making some, not necessarily changes, but the yeah. just the the concept of World War Two and bringing it back. Yeah. How do you feel about kind of bringing it back to World War Two that it's, that it's time a, period? It's a lot better that way, man. Like it's a lot more grounded. It, it feels like less real, right? Because when you when yeah. you do futuristic, it feels like we're in it. It's almost like, yeah. uh, you know, like the, the yeah. whole uh, Iraq war. And yeah. if when you talk about modern yeah. stuff, you kind yeah. of get with yeah. this, you feel a little disconnected, right? Yeah, I think. I think I think what they're trying to do is, in my opinion, capture that being grounded and being relatable the way that Medal of Honor did. Because okay. if you remember Metal Gear yeah, yeah, came out, that. right? And they tried to compete with um, with Call of Duty as well as I think there was another game that came out. I forgot what it was, but they tried to compete with them by saying, hey, we actually went into the battlegrounds and got actual sound. I don't know if you remember nice. that when they rebooted yeah, yeah, I remember Metal that. Honor, right? I remember that. And it was so grounded and it was so nice. But then people were like, yeah, but it's too grounded now. So that's a lot of what's happening here. Yeah. Uh, and I wonder if that's, I don't think that's going to be a detriment because they talk a lot about, it, 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 and particularly, Normandy, right? Like yeah. a, that's an infamous yeah. or a famous battle, and they talk about bringing it back to a, like a lot of hi actual historic events. Yeah, and implementing it. I mean, if anybody's seen the trailer, which no, that's the that's no, not no, the trailer behind this. Yeah, no. If anybody's seen the trailer, you can you can kind of see. Mm -hmm. like this shit looks like crazy yeah, like a yeah, like a yeah. legit like yeah. movie like you're like playing a movie it's, 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 it's really nice but i think the i think that it is going to be grounded and it's going to be nicer but okay. i think they're keeping the whole fantasy aspect of it there's still a fantasy aspect you, you can't be too grounded because if you remember there was a game called i think it's called dragon strike i don't remember that I, was, man that's how that's how Dragon old Strike. I am. That's how old I am, man. Holy shit. There was that one game. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> You're a try this guy. My bad. I, I, just, I moved my knee a little bit in the head. Um, there was this one game. I think it was called Dragon Strike. I believe it's called Dragon Strike. Um, it came out. It was so hyper realistic. You can't even move. Like, if you get shot, you're already wounded. Holy shit. That's it. If you get shot in the head, obviously you die right away, right? But in Call okay. of Duty, you get shot in the head. Sometimes you get a hit marker. Oh. It'll piss you off, but, you know, you still keep playing. You still like it, right? Yeah, right. But with this game, everything that you do, if you get shot in the arm, you're done. That right arm's not going to work. If you, get shot in the, if you get shot in the... That's insane. Uh, yeah, if you get shot in the foot, you're crawling for, like, the rest of the game until, like, somebody revives you. Like, Holy not shit. even the fully revived. The revive was actually like, taking some time, and you'll be limping the whole freaking game. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, I, I was, had to look that one up. Yeah, it was it was hardcore realistic. They made a sequel out of it. I don't know why. And it also didn't do well. Okay. So it was too hyper-realistic. So I think that by going back to the roots where Call of Duty is, they're saying, okay, we're going to ground it a little bit. Okay. But still keep the whole Call of Duty um, vibe. fantasy vibe and aspect okay. to it. You know what I mean? Like you can get shot in the arm and still get a and, and still get like a hit marker. Right? Okay, so let's talk about that for a, a little bit. So they they mentioned that one of the things they're implementing to the the campaign, and we'll get to the multiplayer in a little bit. But one of the things that they're implementing to into the campaign is that it's going to be a squad based thing. Yeah, you're basically going to go through the campaign through this whole squad, and then each yeah. squad member is going to have a certain attribute or, or skill that they have yeah wh be it ammo uh med pack uh yeah. some of them are going to be like tanks mm -hmm. so <clears throat> let's talk about that so they're basically taking away the whole 
regeneration aspect of the game and yeah. they're making it so they can be about, about med pack so i mean what kind of vibe are you getting from I mean, that i mean i, mean, I think i think the med pack thing is fine um but in terms of how is it going to affect affect the gameplay i think it's going to affect the speed okay i don't know because if you think about it if the speed of call of duty the game itself again this is going back to uh being grounded again do you know mm-hmm. what i mean the the way that everybody has like i saw right now 2017 everyone that might be listening and watching this right now majority of them their first game was modern warfare 2 and right that's like the new age that's the exactly we got it back in not a lot of people would remember call of duty the very first one the one that came out with playstation right right call of duty number two Not, not much people would remember that so essentially what's going to happen is that they're going to slow down the game so okay. would it affect the, the the question is would it, is it going to affect the sales that's the thing like for right. you for you and me we would be okay with it do you know yeah, what I mean I feel like I feel like that is that's on point so and I think they they have a little bit of an advantage with with um with Call of Duty specifically because if you do want that futuristic yeah. aspect then you can play the the, yeah. the previous version the previous model but what yeah. you're saying is right do people stay around with the old one yeah. because they want that kind of like futuristic thing or do they or or is this going to deter some people away yeah it's it's going to be one of those things where the people will have to decide on what's going to happen and you're going to see this as the year goes along and it's going to determine um, the next Call of Duty because you know you and I know they always come in like with a Call of Duty every year right right so right now as this new Call of Duty coming out in the next few weeks they're already planning the new one. Okay. The new one is almost done. Let me put it that way. Right, um, right. They, yeah, they have this three-year cycle. Exactly. Right, through, but then for each one. there's little bits and pieces that they have to do to actually, say, to niche it here and there. Like, say, people complain about this. All right, now fix it. So right, that the next right, one right, would right. be this way, right? Right. So um, I think that, you know, I think that that's something that they have to fix now because... I'm calling it right now, it's going to slow down the game a little bit. Because now you're going to have to help somebody revive them. Right. And then on that on that same note, they're talking about the new mechanics, which is uh, not only are they getting rid of like these hyper movements, but one of the big things that has been staple with Call of Duty for a while has been this sli- kind of slide thing, like sliding yeah. into shooting. Yeah. That's getting taken out and yeah. they're replacing it with like this whole mechanic to like throw yourself in the ground. Yeah. Which I, I remember that it's, very vividly. Like I used to yeah. like throw my freaking self on the ground and like yeah, yeah. crawl around and, and be crawl like, around on it. Yeah. little bitch and I'm gonna get your ankles." Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play Call of Duty uh, when I played World War II. Uh, uh, yeah, Call of Duty Two, not Call of Duty Two, uh, MW Two, Modern Warfare Two. I used to do that. Like I would yeah, be yeah, on the yeah, ground yeah, yeah, yeah. and I would sneak into somebody because I always knife people. I don't care what anybody says. I knife people. Okay, <laughs> I do commando knifing, danger close, <laughs> and infinite infinite running. Oh, I would shit. I would sneak up to somebody and just goes. Remember that sound? Shit, yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I, they're taking infinite running away. That's no longer gonna be a thing. See, I mean, they did that before. And that's, then, that's what I'm saying. This is like a huge change. This is, it's not uh, well, a huge the departure. Run, the infinite running is not too much of a, ch- uh, not big because they did it before. Okay. And I don't know why they're taking the infinite running away because when they took it away, that game didn't do that well. Well, I mean, it did somewhat well. I think it was Black Ops, wasn't it? Black Ops. The, I, dude, I, like I said, when, I haven't played too much of the previous away. ones since Modern Warfare, but I yeah. know that that mechanic has been in for a while. Like this whole, I mean, at the very least, the last two, the last couple games. Yeah, because I mean, like they they took it away, then they brought it back, right? And so the game sped up. So now you're taking away the infinite running, and then you're doing health packs. So right. now the game has just slowed down. So you know who's gonna benefit to something like this? The snipers. I mean, the snipers. The snipers. For sure. Because they don't have to run. They yeah. just stay in one place. They hit you. You're done. Right. That's true. And you can't. And you can't go running after the sniper. For guess what? You can't run. So right. now you have to sneak around the sniper. Right. So, th- so that that is yes. For those who snipe, I think they're gonna have. Well, it also comes down to level design, right? I mean, we're going to see yeah. how some of these levels are designed. And they're yeah. going to change it according to, but I can see how that can be a, a problem um, for those who are not snipers, obviously. <laughs> those can I'm be a fire where you're just like, freaking blue, 
Woo! I, like, I, I, getting I, picked I, I, off I from, like, everywhere. Man. Like, I, I really hate them because they're just there, man. Like, <laughs> you, you would snipe, like... <laughs> Like there is a special place in hell for snipers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't get it. I used to play in Halo. I, 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 man, yeah. Halo was like fantastic for me, specifically Halo Three. And one of the things that I used to like was the yeah. the DMRs. Yeah. Like the SWAT. Did you ever play SWAT? Yeah. Oh man, it was just like tap, tap. like if yeah. you get a headshot, but everybody's on an even playing field yeah, in that yeah, case, which even fine. Yeah. which changes the game, but. It's, it's, that uh, it's, I'm telling you right now, it will benefit the snipers. You know how many snipers are gonna be on Call of Duty when it comes out? Everybody, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like that sniper. movie with Jude Law and everything, man. Behind enemy lines, that's it. Oh just yeah, 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 and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you right now, it's just gonna be snipe, snipe, snipe. No one, no one's gonna be running around the field because you know how like you have to let's just say if you were doing capture the flag, you know how difficult that would be capture the flag. There would be yeah, at least true. one or two snipers in the team for capture the flag. One person that would be just in the base, and the other person in the field. So that if 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 that person in the base misses the guy and misses the guy, captures the flag and starts running, the guy in the field would actually just snipe that guy, and then it's done. Wow. Yeah. It's so just, there's going to be some balancing issues at least. I, I mean, these yeah. games are tested and retested and tested in focus group. So yeah. hopefully they catch some of this stuff before it becomes a big issue. But yeah. Um, and then before we move on to multiplayer, uh, uh, they also mentioned that there's going to be, so I, I don't know about you, but I mainly get the Call of Duty games for the campaign. And lately yeah. in the last few years, it's been very like lackluster. Yeah. There's been some A-list stars like kid from yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, it was in the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, you have, uh, uh um, Kevin Spacey was in that one, so they, they brought some A team, some good acting, yeah. but I won't necessarily say that that correlates to a better campaign necessarily. It it, it, it definitely promoted the game a lot. I'm for sure, oh for sure, yeah, their their marketing is off the hook. <laughs> their marketing is yeah. off the hook. It, it definitely promoted the game a like, lot. Every time I see a, a, a trailer, I'm like this is the one, yeah, you know, like <laughs> just like what's happening right now, like this is the one, though, like yeah, this is the one. So, but there's something about World War Two that I mentioned earlier is, is a little bit of a disconnect because it's not a war that's happening now. It's also a lot of histories. I'm a big history buff, so I like to kind of play these stories out Yeah. the way that it happened back then in a time before yeah. we existed. You and I existed as old as we are. I, we, weren't, we weren't around I, there. I, 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 think too, that's, I think the campaign is a good, it's a good idea for everybody to learn about World War II. Um, and this is not to knock on like education here in uh, in the states because if no if nobody knows i'm canadian um in canada we learn about november 11 so we know about 11 11 on the 11th hour on the 11th day on the 11th month that's when everybody surrendered that, that no that's when the nazi surrendered oh, right so you guys you guys remember that yeah day. Remember so in, yeah so back in canada every time uh, november 11 comes in at 11 at, on the 11th hour there's 11 minutes of silence wherever you are. Wow. Like, like I used to work, I used, I used to be an assistant manager at, um, at a Walmart there. And when the 11th hour comes in, I am telling you right now, it's a sight to see. Everybody wow. just stops. And it just stands there for 11 minutes straight. Wow. Yeah. I didn't, I had no idea. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. That's so incredible. It's, yeah, it's Remembrance Day. And we have this thing called the poppy. If they bring in the pop, if, if, man, it would be great if, Call of Duty comes in with like a special poppy. I don't know if you know what a poppy is. No, I don't know. Uh, in Flanders Field, in Flanders Field, where poppies grow. Oh, like a poppy seed thing. Yeah, they grow and grow and grow and grow. Okay. So basically, uh, okay. So just brief, just just briefly. So when soldiers die, uh, they died in um, in World War Two. There's a special place called Flanders Field. Okay. And when soldiers die, they bury them there. But underneath that, there's poppy seeds. So when they die, these poppies grow. So people, people say that these are actually, oh. yeah. There's all there's that kind of whole um, saying or a whole story or myth kind of thing that when the yeah, soldiers die, the poppies grow because their blood actually um, fertilizes. fertilizes it and then it grows red. So, uh. Uh, so you will see this, okay? So this is the only time. We're, <laughs> this is probably the only time we're gonna talk about uh, basketball. If you watch any Toronto Raptor games, okay, you will see the coaches. And every single player that has that red flower thing in here, 
No, I know where that's from. Yeah. Oh, it's from snap. Rem- yeah, it's Remembrance Day. Yeah. Damn, dude, I'm gonna pay attention. I had no idea. I had no idea. Yeah. That, that's why, no that's idea. why Call of Duty comes out during the anniversary of the Marines and oh, always close to sense. World War II. That makes November sense. November 11th. I, for one, am super stoked, especially since they're talking about it being a longer than usual campaign. So uh, I'm definitely stoked for that. Uh, we talked a little bit about the mechanics. That's cool, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, man, this is crazy. I'm gonna look that up. Uh, so they're doing some major changes to the way that the whole like perk system yeah. and generation system and, and kind of growth system within the game yeah. happens. Uh, they're replacing the perk system with divisions. Yeah. So yeah. in particular, there's going to be five divisions. Uh, one of them is going to be like long range. So they're your snipers. You're right, going to have right. armored. Right. Uh, you're going to have one uh, and, and different ones. I, I think yeah. there's a medic. I didn't get them all down, but I think yeah. there's a medic in there. So tech, it, what that's going to do is it's going to make it so you pick one of these divisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You And then within that division, there's going to be like a kind of like a meta game. Right, right, right. Where depending on what you do within that certain division, there's yeah. going to be ability upgrades. Yeah. So you're almost like vested yeah. in that particular like yeah. division. Yeah. Um, and it takes away this perk system. I think I, mean, I personally think that it's broken the game a little bit. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I think that's why so that's people, a huge departure. Well, I mean, I think that's why people call, play Call of Duty is because of the perks. That's so, going away. So, I wonder. so if you take away the perks, I mean, I mean, like, did the first Call of Duty have perks? I don't remember. No. So the, the this perk system came in new, and the whole prestige thing came in uh, later on in the years. It was always Modern about. Warfare. It came in right, later, Walker, right? later, yeah, later on. Yeah, so I mean, I, 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 it, it goes back to the sales again. I mean, like I think they're hindering, they're, they're marketing too much into our generation, because our generation remembers that Call of Duty. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean we're talking about ten years ago. That's yeah. the last time they did a Call you're, of Duty. You're looking at like eighteen to what? Eighteen to forty-four, forty-five. Probably around that range. Around that range. So within the last decade right so i mean you know I, I think they're catering way too much of it and then they're ignoring the the newer generation on it okay. and, 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 and in my opinion because if you ignore that generation what's going to happen is that that's the generation that 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 will buy it because of because of their parents right these are kids are just going like i want that because that's the newest thing well it's, right? it's, a, it's a risk right and and that's why you don't see too much risk when it's it comes to like risk. these big triple a titles most of these risks you'll see like in small indie titles typically yeah because there's you know these this triple a titles have millions mm-hmm. and millions and, and dollars and, and, and that's okay. behind it and that's okay because indies they're comfortable at where they're at right well it's less risky it's, it's, it, it's you know it, one you're risking fifty thousand dollars the other one you're risking yeah you know, five million bucks yeah so. exactly so with with indies i mean like they're okay with that kind of thing because they said okay we're kind of like an alternative to that right but when you take that alternative and make it mainstream that's when you're catering to like a to like a big market into a small niche right you know what i mean yeah so it, it kind of may it may hinder their sales a little bit that's my opinion of uh, at it so with that being said there was a survey i forget i read the article uh, and i think i talked about it on my show um uh, about two weeks ago but there was a uh, a survey done yeah. uh from this third party company it, it was somewhere around six thousand or seven thousand gamers were surveyed and yeah yeah basically they were saying they were saying like what's your you know what's the most anticipated game or what comes to mind when you think about games and at the yeah. top of the list was call of duty yeah yeah so they definitely have the mind share i'm less concerned about their sales because i think they're going to sell i think it is it, 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 once people buy it are they going to have a, a, a negative reaction to it and if that's going to affect the sales going forward it's 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 gonna sell it's always gonna sell i mean call of duty is that that much of a monster that it's gonna sell for sure that it's it you cannot not sell call of duty right it's just that when time comes by because i mean like the next dlc when you buy it it drops when january february yeah they keep it they keep you invested in the game they keep you invested in the game right but you know but they and then when christmas time comes that's when the christmas noob comes in because all the noobs comes in yeah and, yeah, then, yeah. and then you know so their sales is not going to suffer i think that the demographic is going to suffer 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna get. You're saying it's gonna be an older crowd? It's it's it, it's it's gonna be no. It's gonna uh, yeah. It's gonna no 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 no. I mean like I think their sales is gonna su- uh their demo is gonna suffer in the uh, the younger crowds. Yeah, gotcha. I'm saying that's gonna attract an older crowd. Yeah yeah. It's gonna attract a, a little bit the of young older ones. crowd, but. I, think I don't know, man. Here, here's, Young guys love shooting shit. So this is, might be out of the left field. Has anybody looked into probably they're trying to cancel off Battlefield? Oh, for sure, man. They're trying to... Because essentially, if everything that you <clears throat> described, right? Battlefield is doing that already. Right? The med kits. Right? Uh, no infinite runs. Right? Being a little bit more uh, grounded and realistic. Essentially, Battlefield is doing that now. The blueprint right. of Battlefield is there. For sure. I mean, for so. sure, they, they're going to see uh, how it's been, it, was, uh, it affected their sales when Battlefield came out because I'm pretty sure they yeah. put a dent in their sales yeah. that year. I think that what they're... And they, this is a reaction to that. Yeah, I think what they were trying to do is, in my opinion, I think what they're trying to do is that they're trying to get the Battlefield crowd to the Call of Duty. And if that's what they're trying to do, I don't think I want to play Call of Duty anymore because now you're not caring about what we want to play and how we want to play it. You're just caring about taking out the competition. Gotcha. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, and if you want to play a Battlefield type game, then play Battlefield. Exactly, right? And then, and that's where variety comes in. That's why choices and options comes in, right? That's, that's, that's what's so good about that, that kind of thing, that you have options. But when you're someone like Call of Duty and Sledgehammer and everybody else that's uh, in the soft and the developer in there, and then you're trying to take out the competition and not even caring about what we think about it. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I guess you're right. We're gonna see. This is a risk, and that's. I mean, that's part of the industry. The good thing about Call of Duty is that you get one every year, so you, they can recover very quick. Whereas some of these other companies, let's say GTA, yeah, uh, creates a game, yeah, and, you know, they make it five or six years, and it, the people don't like it, yeah. Then I think that yeah. is a bigger risk to them than yeah. than kind of like the Call of Duty. Call of Duty has a, 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 kind of the upper hand there, where they can kind of get away with some stuff yeah. just because they I, have I so much mind share. I mean, like it's it's nice. It's a nice that they're going back to their roots and they're going back to storytelling nowadays and being a little bit more realistic. But if if my theory does come to pass, I don't I I don't like what they're trying to do. They're trying to take out the competition right. by just trying to grab people from the other side and be like, gotcha. hey, come to us because we're Call of Duty. Everything that you know about Battlefield, we you'll get it. it in Call of Duty. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So I mean, I, I guess we'll have to see how that plays out. We'll, we'll get to see it real soon because the game's what November what November seventh. November seventh. Yeah. So November seventh, we'll get to find out uh, real soon. So uh, another few changes that they had is one that they're incorporating. Um, basically like this hub world almost in like the vein of and not as detailed like you remember uh, yeah. playstation home or whatever it was where yeah, people came it. in it was like a kind of community so it's not to yeah, that extent yeah, yeah. yeah but it's almost like a mini hub world where yeah. you can come in you could train uh that's where you loot boxes crap is there oh. and all this shit but are you, ta- are you telling me it's kind of like destiny well, I'm saying between matches, it's kind of like this hub world where you can kind of do yeah, stuff. Yeah, Destiny has that. They have like a hub do world. They? Yeah, there's like there's a world where you begin in Destiny, and that's where you meet up with people, and then that's how like. Right. So I mean, I, I don't know the full details of it because I just know like the high level stuff. But it sounds like yeah, like that is oh kind of what they're going for with the with the hub. But it, I don't think it's gonna be like an actual like deterrent from the multiplayer because I they still. Like their thing is like get in and out of matches quick. Like, okay. So I think that's gonna still be there, but this is gonna allow for kind of some people to get together and train together, and all of this uh, is gonna be logged and documented yeah. online, and people can yeah. see what you're doing. So I, I, I guess we'll see what that does. But uh, more specifically to the multiplayer, they said they're getting rid of kill cams altogether. Yeah. And there's gonna be something that they're taking a page out of Overwatch's book where they call them Bronze Stars, <laughs> where they plan to do this like this highlight reel, the most important kills in the match. I, th- I think that's pretty cool, but you know, I like I I I, I like that part. I would say. Yeah. I, I, well, because I mean, like that's what you work for. Because some of the, some of the times, like these last kills, like you see like the slow motion, it's kind of funny. Yeah. But it's, it'll be kind of cool to see like a highlight reel, like what's going down with the match, right? I, I think it'll be, I, I think it'll be awesome. I think that everybody could kind of get together and enjoy that. Well, well that's that's why people, that's why people um, play a lot of Overwatch. Like they want to get that kill cam, 
they yeah. want to get get that. They want to they want to be they the 15 be seconds of fame or whatever. <laughs> I want to be featured, man. If I play, yo my- yo, that's me, yeah. that's me. I killed your ass. I have I have I have one with McCree. I had like um, a high noon, like a like what was that six kill or six or seven kill high noon, and I'm oh, just like, man. how many is in, how many bullets does he have in a gun? Because prior to that, I shot like two, right? Oh, so shit. two bullets are already out, and then I did a high noon, and it's like, da, 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 da. I'm like, what kind of gun is this thing? This is fucking fantastic. <laughs> And you would miss moments like that if, or at least everybody would miss those moments because people are kind of like yeah. in their own world while they're playing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, oh shit, I got killed, but you don't see it from the other angle. Yeah. So I think it'll be kind of cool to like show these highlight or these most important kills rather than like this kill cam where it's just like a slow motion on the last kill. Yeah. Where something could be a shit like a stab in the fucking neck. Yeah. That would be you on yeah. me, or like, <laughs> or like some like slow motion like. Yeah. Yeah. What 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 I want to know is it's. What kind of identity is Call of Duty trying to grasp now? That that's that's the thing. I think they're kind of experimenting now. I think for this is the first time in a while that they're actually like. Because everything that you ex- at least it feels everything that, way. that you mentioned, it seems like a Frankenstein of everything. You know what I mean? A little bit of yeah. battlefield here. A little well, bit you know of what? Like watch here. His, his, historically, Call of Duty has been one of the best deals. Yeah. You know, other than like this, these overpriced DLCs, but I mean, I guess a different topic. But the like the package mm-hmm. that comes in that mm-hmm. box mm-hmm. is pretty crazy. So you have a great campaign. Yeah. So it, so for people who want the single yeah. player, there it is. Yeah. People that want the multiplayer, you know, the multiplayer yeah, is off yeah, the hook. Yeah, yeah. And then you got zombies. So <laughs> they're bringing zombies into this. So let me tell you a little bit about zombies. So. I'm not a fan of zombies, man. I love that shit, dude. I mean, I'm a I'm a big fan of cooperative games <laughs> rather than competitive. So that that appeals to me completely. So I like I like the campaign aspect of it, but more than than the yeah. than the kind of competitive I kill you kind of thing. I yeah. I rather get with you, get together, and like work together yeah. at a common goal. So you, this this zombies totally does that for me. I mean, I you know what was underrated? That was some sort of like kind of like a zombie that's because of how how bad how poorly the game performed is modern warfare 3 the okay. survival the one that they had there with the juggernauts and everything yeah 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 yeah. that yeah, was yeah, underrated yeah. see it's not zombie but well it's a horde mode so yeah, that, it's a horde mode. which is gears yeah. of war coined that that's it's yeah. called a horde mode because it's like this it feels like an endless onslaught of, yeah. of kind of yeah hordes coming at you yeah but you get to you get to like experience it together. I don't know. It's, it's different. That's why I I prefer to play. You know, my game, my favorite game of last generation was uh, Borderlands Two. Borderlands was not bad. So the reason I love that game so much is not necessarily because of the loot and the gunplay and all that stuff was great. Yeah. Because it was it was, but the yeah. main reason I did is because it, it created like. So you can go out and play the game by yourself, yeah, or you can yeah. just go fully cooperative with yeah. three other players, which is yeah. freaking awesome, which is something I, that... I think they should bring back the hordes. That's just my thing. I, I like the hordes. Maybe, so here it is, and zombies. Maybe, maybe because I have... No, well, I mean, zombies is different. I don't it's, know. It's another Cause, variation cause of horde mode. If you see historically how the zombies thing uh, happened, before hordes, there was no main person. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. There was never a main person. Like... When was the very first like right? Just, it was just like an onslaught of it's coming, just coming, onslaught coming, 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 after coming. onslaught after yeah, onslaught, yeah. right? And then when they had hordes, they're like, okay, they added the it juggernaut. introduced like the boss aspect. Exactly, or, they yeah. added juggernaut, and then after that, all the zombies had hordes, and then they. So had I can see that it's a, it's a more a refined yeah uh, version of zombies. Yeah. I, I can see that. So they're doing a lot of changes to the zombie mode. So uh, one of the thing is. It's cooperative, as I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, there's a standalone option, but then they're doing things like um, creating classes within this yeah. now. So before yeah. it was just like, I don't know if you remember, but one of my favorite zombie modes was that where everybody can be presidents. Yeah. Did you play that one? I remember that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So it was like it was like uh, you you know I'm Jimmy Carter, you're Reagan, but we yeah. basically are the same person and doing yeah. the same thing. So now they're creating classes. So it, more specifically, it's going to be four classes. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be an offensive class, a meta class, support, and a control class. Yeah. So I think this is going to add an interesting dynamic. And by the way, you're going to be able to customize your loadouts. There's going to be perks in this mm-hmm. mode. So mm-hmm. the perks that they're taking away from multiplayer, they're going to add yeah. here. And there's going to be permanent unlocks. So yeah. it's going to be more of a reason to keep coming back and back and back. Yeah. 
uh not only is it going to be so that it's not the same with everybody it's going to be a different dynamic with yeah. these classes it's going to create a reason for you to keep coming back by right, creating right, right, more right. of these unlocks yeah uh, and i think it's going to make it so that when you do work cooperatively i'm like oh i'm the medic i, I typically like right. i don't like being the offensive guy typically i typically like being the no. medic or the healer or right. along that range of support character if you play overwatch you play defense i would like that's a matter or i would a matter i would i would probably play that because to be honest with you, ever since Halo, and and, and if, uh, since we're on Call of Duty, since Modern Warfare 2, I haven't been extremely good. I mean, I'm, you mentioned we're getting old as fuck. Like, my reflexes are like, I'm like, oh, shit, <laughs> boom, like, oh, boom. I've already been shot three times by the time I even see the guy. Yeah. So it's funny because I'm like, oh, here yeah. we go. I'm going to get my radical on his ass. <laughs> I'm like shit. I think because like my first game was Modern Warfare 2, I'm more of a rush. Like yeah. I just come in rushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just keep running. It's because I think like anywhere from anyone who grew up in War Modern Warfare 2, there are two types of people. You're either you rush or you're a sniper. Those are it. And then nice. there's like your type that's actually like mixed in. Where like you support, right? Right, and people like my like me who rushes and knives and people who, sh who snipes, that pisses you off. Yeah, because you're, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, not yeah, playing yeah. the game properly. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, nobody runs like that in, in World War Two. That's horseshit. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I I I, I like the, the fact that they're adding this. Um, just to kind of create a bigger dynamic, maybe get yeah. somebody like myself in, in into the game. And appease somebody like you who likes to go on the offensive, and somebody like like me likes to go uh, as a support character. But basically, what they're what they're doing here is they they decided to like set it in re and real events. So it's gonna be uh, you know surreal, obviously, but they're referencing like real stuff, real events that happened in the real world. So the whole thing is uh, like the whole dynamic of this zombie mode is that the the, the alt right. Uh, yeah. came in and they're experimenting on yeah. zombification yeah. and all these kinds of things yeah. and that's how they mm -hmm. uh they, they bring in the zombie mode or whatever so they're still setting it in the world war ii yeah. world which i think is kind of cool yeah. but, but what they're do doing here as well they're bringing a lot of and if you remember uh a, a lot of the guys that work in this call, particular call of duty are ex visceral guys which uh, i yeah. used to be at ea working at uh at yeah. dead space yeah so what they did is they brought a lot of the horror aspects and a lot of that vibe i, I, I think from that i think that dead space adding, I think adding more of the horror aspects versus the survival aspect, I think that would be a big change. And that's what I'm saying. Like the Call of Duty as a package is like phenomenal. Yeah. For sixty bucks, you get all this. Yeah, it's 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 not bad. You get all this stuff. I think that, um, I think the only issue with Call of Duty now is that they have to find a certain identity. I agree. That's it. They I just, agree that they got to they and and I guess this is the experimental stage. After ten years, you feel kind of numb with the same shit yeah, over and over you, and over. You, you know, like like that thing playing in the background. I mean, like you see how fast they're going. You know, you, you become numb out of it now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think that it might, the other thing that I think that they should change is they stop. They got to stop bringing back old maps and redoing them and just reinvent it I, I mean i think they're catering too much of the nostalgia of it i think that i think they're just in that case i think that's what it is a lot of people yeah. it's it, kind of hard to appease everybody I see that right because if you and i play that we get this nostalgia feeling i'm like oh, i remember where that map is i know where to go now yeah. right so they're catering too much of the nostalgia feel to it versus how am I, as a player, going to cater? Uh, how am I, as a developer, how should I develop another map that would cater for everybody? Right, so it's kind of like a shortcut it, to... It, it seems lazy. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Dude, I don't care how many times you revive Nuketown. Nuketown I, yeah, I will yeah, yeah. play Nuketown all day. I love, like, the smaller, like, more confined spaces where you could just, oh like, you spawn and you're already, like, in the middle of it again. You don't I, have to, like... I love Nuketown. Like, I don't care what kind of Call of Duty it is. You give me Nuketown, I, like, <laughs> I, like, salivate, man. I don't care. Take my money. I don't yeah, care, Yeah, no, but I see what you're saying. You're, you're like, you're, like, uh, it has to be somewhere in between where maybe you can get some of that stuff, but there has to be more effort put yeah, into maybe I mean, like, developing some of the newer stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, put a little bit more effort to it, you know. Sometimes they wouldn't even mention that it's brand new. Like, they wouldn't even say what it is, and then you play it, and you go, I recognize this map. Like, I've seen gotcha. this map before. Gotcha. You know? And then, 
you go back to your old ways and you just go back to like okay well i used to play this map i'm gonna use this type of gun yeah and then all of a sudden you're just like well i get bored of it you get bored of it really quickly yeah. so i think that they should bring more maps in um again <laughs> do nuketown i don't care <laughs> I don't care. Do Newtown. Like, like if there's a Call of Duty, let me put it this way: if there's a Call of Duty that came out and it says Newtown exclusive, like literally six different types of Newtown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. They're like just the bus. Just, just the bus. Newtown. Like just the bus. Yeah, just the bus. <laughs> <laughs> just two houses, and they're like, it's a hundred dollars. I was like, here. How many more Take maps? My money. Yeah, how many more maps of Nuketown do you have? I, like, I don't care. Like, I would play different types of Nuketown. Nice, nice. <laughs> like, it's like that's that's their big draw, man. That's true, man. Like, you can't lie, man. When Nuketown comes in, you know for a fact that you call in, you kill it, you call in for work. I'm not calling in. <laughs> I'll shut down this store, man. I don't care. You know, but you know that that's what they do in, in Japan. That's why they release games on Friday and not on yeah. the Tuesday because yeah. they found like, especially with the Final Fantasy releases yeah. and all these big titles, people would call in. Yeah, they would call in. And like productivity would it's dip like, like completely. It's like soccer, man. It's like yeah. soccer in Europe because like so soccer in Europe, there's Friday. literally you can call in sick or you can shut down the whole factory because there's soccer. Yeah. Like if there should be one for Newtown for New Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Newtown <laughs> only only. Just, right. <laughs> you remember they had that campaign with the um, I forgot who, who that guy he's in a bunch of Michael Bay films um, it was, they did it for Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2 where they, he would take care of stuff for you while you play Call of Duty like you would oh, call into, yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about right yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, forgot, I, I forgot what his name was or what that campaign was but he would go into people's houses That's take care of something hilarious. baby while he plays Call of Duty the whole time I think that they should have that that's for, for Nuketown like Nuketown Fridays like you know, <laughs> oh my god economy in the states just goes down every Friday <laughs> every Friday economy doesn't exist there's a big <laughs> drop in down <laughs> what is this and all the analysts are like what the hell's going yeah, on they're like and they're like crunching numbers and they're like it's fucking Nuketown bro <laughs> it's Nuketown day man that's why <laughs> All right, man. And then in in the in the wake of Xbox One X, I did want to finish off by basically saying one of the things that they're doing is they basically said that that from the ground up they developed for uh, PS4 Pro and Xbox One X is going to be enhanced, so it's definitely going to be the prettiest version of the Call of Duty. The pretty. It's very pretty, like with their nails done and the hair did, and it's the Cinderella of it all. It's the Cinderella of it all. So we'll kind of finish off there. I think that was a pretty extensive talk about Call of Duty. We can talk about this all day. All day, every day. We can all talk about this all day. Just like a bunch of old people talking about games. That's why. <laughs> old, people old people talking play, games. Uh, old people playing games. With old people, people, the, the old people, people talk. talk with Timmy and Jimmy. With Jimmy and Timmy. So, 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 yeah. Old people talk. It's, it's, it's the title, working, old, working old, title. Yeah, old people playing games with Jimmy and Timmy. Like, Frank, man. If, <laughs> if, if you guys like this somehow, <laughs> tell us. We'll, we'll do more. For sure. Yeah, for so sure. We can't do it all the time because obviously we're old. Yeah. Uh, he has work. Yeah, I, I got to take a nap during the day. So it's like, uh, <laughs> have a store to run. Yeah. But, yeah so on that note, yeah. So uh, yeah. For, uh, this is, uh, we're, we're cooperating here. I'm a Miami Let's Play at MiamiLet'sPlay.com. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a podcast called Miami Let's Cast. I'm going to snippet of this into that podcast there. But uh, tell us a, a little bit of what yeah, you do. Yeah. So, um, this uh, there's going to be a snippet of this too as well that's going to be uh, under our store so right now we didn't state this in the very beginning but we're actually here at 14234 Southwest 8th Street Multiverse Core Comics we have our own um, YouTube channel um, this is one of the shows that we're going to be having this is a specialty show that we have as well so um, there's a lot of shows that we have right now we have yeah. the weekly Wednesdays where we review every single comic book mm -hmm. coming out uh, this week we have our uncensored review that happens every Monday and then we're gonna have this special in here too as well um, let us know if you want us to do another co-op um, 
uh, show just like this one. We'll do it in a special. <laughs> we'll call it Jimmy sure, and Timmy. Sure. Um, another thing that I'm going to plug in, I'm going to plug this into as well. We're having a Call of Duty uh, tournament here too as well, November 11th um, here. Uh, that is because we have a partnership with GameStop. So that's going to be a 1v1. It's going to be happening on Project Scorpio because I have the day one. Nice. I have the day nice. one. And my, the console that I got is not going to say um, Xbox One X. It's going nice. to say Project Scorpio on it. It's going to be for Project Scorpio, $5, uh, $5 entry fee, $400 cash prize. So nice. right now you can still, you can definitely still register. Just come in the store or give us a call. Um, but that's happening on November 11th. So it's going to be a month long. So cool. it's, it's going to be, it's going to be really good. Um, but yeah, with that note too as well, I mean, where can they follow you if they want to um, stalk you? So you can follow us. Um, you can follow us in our Facebook, uh, our Facebook Multiverse Core Comics. At Multiverse Core Comics, you can. We have a Twitter too as well. M I A under slash uh, um, M C. Uh, sorry, M C C underscore M I A ten. Um, what I'll do is that on our channel, I'll just put it all in the bottom. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll have <laughs> to. Because you know what like... ended up happening was um, when we were putting up the the names for the social media handle. It's like so much. It's like it'll, yeah. it'll say like our Instagram will say multiverse multiverse underscore C O R P S underscore M I A underscore. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'll just put it in the bottom in there yeah, on, on our show. So, um, but always give us a call. We'll be here. Uh, James is here too as well. So he comes in for all, sure all the I'm time. A regular. <laughs> and for those who want to follow me, I'm at Miami Let's Play uh, on all social medias and. Uh, that's it for the show guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching for those who are on youtube and for those listening thank you on the podcast service around the world thank you thank you thank you thank you let us know if you let us know if you want to hear more yeah man if you want to see more of these we can do more of these i think we can probably get together we were talking about basketball earlier too man yeah 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 man yeah dude we can go ape shit with this stuff we, we can talk about the whole jordan era and the whole barkley era and oh for sure for sure how it's better and before hand check fouls existed <laughs> Before the three second rule and everything, <laughs> no one's gonna score a hundred rebounds anymore. Nice because of three seconds. I don't know, man, we're, <laughs> you better end this now before we start. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Until next time, guys. Game on. So. That's like 45 pounds, dog. That's a lot of weight. <laughs>